Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the, uh, how to calculate the fresh air CFM requirements based on ASHRAE 62.1 for commercial purposes. All right, so let's get into it. So for this is very important because in any mechanical design, outside air is incredibly important. So whenever it's a commercial building, what we need to do is focus on what the category is going to be. So um, that would be a step number one. So usually what happens is that the architect provides, provides you with the architectural drawings or architectural drawings, see? architectural drawings and if you don't have architectural drawings you can always go to the job site and then make a survey and then s take pictures and see how or in other words you can that, usually when you're doing design architectural drawings or plans are uh, desired all right so in this case i'm going to draw a basic office right here see a basic office would be like this Okay, so in the office, of course, that we're going to have furniture. So we're going to have in this office, say, a desk. We have a seat. And then we're going to have two seats actually in here. So sometimes whenever he has a meeting, he has two people here or something, right? So this is a desk and this is two seats. One, two, three. Let's put seats as S, S, and S. Three seats. Okay, and let's put it like that, see? Okay, and this is a desk. So what we're trying to do in here is for this office, now that we have the category, we're doing the office and there are so many categories like conference room, there are lobbies, there are uh, computer labs, there are like bedroom, corridors, and a lot of categories. So for this example, we're utilizing the office. What we need to know is the area. See, we're going to need the area and the number of people and the number of people. All right. So in other words, in here, we're going to ask uh, for our example, what we're going to do is put the area and put the number of people. So say that in here, how, how many people can, can we have in here? One, two, three. We have three seats. We're going to have three people. And then the area is going to be 146. There we go. 146. All right. Okay. So the area is 146. The number of people is three. After you have that, it's done. So pretty much what you need for you, what you need to calculate the outside air is going to be three three main important factors. Okay, you need the category step one. You need the area, and you know you need the number of people. And how do you get the number of people by the number of seats or pretty pretty much like that. Okay, and then now you can apply ASHRAE sixty two point one. See, we're going to put in here ASHRAE ASHRAE sixty two point one. Because one is for commercial and number two is for residential. So we're doing for commercial purposes. But this is also embedded into a IMC. Well, there's like 2015, 2018. So they're pretty much almost the same. And if you want to get to this table, that table, you can always go online and find IMC 2015 or 2018. And you go to chapter four, which is ventilation. There's a complete chapter of ventilation. And ASRO 62.2 is the standard. And international mechanical code is the mechanical code, depending on the jurisdiction or the county or everything, OK? Just to comply with the code. So now, based on ASRO 62.1, what is the formula? We're talking so much, but we're not saying anything about the CFM, right? So what is the formula? OK, calculate the CFM, right? Calculate outside air. In other words, what is the CFM, cubic feet per minute? So in order to calculate this, you, you, you only need this formula. So what is ASRAE 62.1? That's the formula. Outside air, it's going to be equal to the following. RP, PZ, plus RA, AZ. 
There you go. So let's put a dot in here, which is because it's times. Okay. And that's going to be divided by, uh, let's put a, in here a line. See? That's going to be divided by easy. Okay. So that's the formula. There you go. Now you have the outside air. Outside air is going to be equal to that. I'm just going to, you know what? I'm going to delete this very quick because. I want to do this very neat, okay? So everyone is able to see this. All right, so that's going to be the formula, and this is outside air. All right, so what is every every single factor? So RP, what is going to be RP? RP is going to be the following. Uh, rates, so this is going to be the rate people, see? People, outside air rate, Okay, so RP is going to be in here. Uh, we're going to put, the, put that, in, that as pink, see? Pink. And if you are wondering where I got this table from, that table is from IMC 2015, Chapter 4, Ventilation. And that is pretty much the same values that we can find in Android 62.2, where you can find in Internet, a PDF, or you can get more information from us itself okay so here is r see rp okay that's the people rate and the other one is going to be pz okay so we're going to do this a little bit faster because see pz and then we have ra and then we have az okay so what is pz pz is going to be equal to the number of people see in other words people R A is going to be area rate, okay? Area rate. Area of outside air rate. And the other one is the A Z, and A Z is going to be pretty much the area. Okay, there we go. And last one is going to be E Z. What is E Z? E Z is the distribution effectiveness. Distribution effectiveness which is another table but in this case we're going to use 0 0.8 okay I'm going to explain that a little bit later all right so since we have that now we're going to proceed to the calculation of outside air so what would be the outside air for this example so the outside air is going to be equal to the following what is RP so the way I remember this and I'm going to put in here a uh, a sign in here, see? I remember this by saying the rates. So R are rates. So this is going to be rate people. This is going to be rate area, which we can find in the table. So what I'm going to put here in table. This is coming from the table, and this is coming from the table. And which table? We're talking about this table. IMC 2015-2018. Or you can also find it in ASRAE 62.1, okay? So from that table, you're going to find this RP, RA rates. And then what is PZ and AZ? That's data that we need to obtain from drawings or for, from plans. We can find from drawings, from drawings. Or we, you can find with coordination with the architect or on the job side if you're doing some surveys. Okay, so you can find it from the drawings. And this is from the table. So now we're going to find that in here. So outside there is going to be to the RP. And how much is RP for office spaces? For office spaces, I'm going to put this in green, actually. So in green, we have this and we have this. See, we have RP, RA from table. So RP is going to be 5 plus, and the other one is going to be 0 0.06. And then I'm going to put in yellow what I obtain from the drawings. So what is uh, PC times PZ? This is number of people. That's going to be PZ. I'm going to put this in green, see? PZ. And this is going to be AZ, OK? So and in order to make it consistent, you know, I, I need to be consistent with the colors. What we're going to do is. Actually, I'm going to put in here three. Okay, so RP is going to be in yellow, 
I know that the colors uh, don't affect the calculation, but I just want to be consistent. So RP is going to be yellow and RP is 5 times, I leave a space and it's going to be RA, RA is 0 0.06. And then that's going to be times, times, I'm going to put in here in green. So green comes from the data that we have. So how much is PC, which is people? People is going to be PC number of three. This is going to be three. And then AZ is going to be 146. All right. So how much is the outside air? We're going to put in here the calculation. And if you put that in your calculator, outside air required is going to be, oh, but you can say, remember to you're missing out on something. What's something easy? Is this the distribution effectiveness? And we said that that's going to be 0 0.8. So in total, if you do this calculation, that's going to be equal to the following number, 20.97 CFM. All right. So in other words, I'm going to put this in a rectangle. See, there we go. In other words, for this space that is an office within a building, what you need to comply for to comply with code, international mechanical code, utilizing a standard ASRO 62.1 is 29.7 CFM of outside air or fresh air. Okay, so now that's the requirement. So this is the example only for one room. So what if you have in a building like 50 rooms? So that's why I put this Excel table. So this Excel, Excel table is going to allow you to do, see this room number one, you're going to do room number two, number three, number 50. And then in each, for, in, in, in each of the categories, you're going to be putting name manager, your occupancy category is office, and then you have the values in here. And what is this design CFM? Actually, what is what is this? See, the design CFM is going to be the equipment, actually. So if we need 29.7 CFM of outside air, I'm going to have to put or satisfy with the equipment, which, is, which could be a dedicated outside air system, which is called DOAS or D-O-A-S or it could be different other method, methods of ventilation to comply with this. And that's gonna, that has to be above this number. So since, this is, since the minimum ventilation requirement is 29.7, then you, you're gonna need, I just put 30, but then you can, you, can, you can put 40, you can put 50, anything above 29.7. But of course you cannot put 1,000 or you know, 3,000, right? So that's, that's why I put 30. And that's gonna come from, usually it comes from you know, DOAS units and that, come from, that comes from the equipment. Equipment, all right? And that's going to be in another video, and we're going to be talking about how to size these doors equipment. So, however, the way it's going to work, this usually blends into the system. So that's going to be the last part. So if you have your air handler unit in here, or sometimes this is called fan coil unit, air handler unit. So because you have a fan, you have your coil, and then you have a water coil or four pipe, two pipe. So whenever you have this, you're always going to have in here a supply, okay? And you're gonna have a return, see? You have a return plenum. That's gonna be the return, okay? So you're going to bypass or you're gonna include this outside air to the return, see? This based on this equipment. So that's how it's gonna work, all right? So for example, if the equipment is like, uh, if the DOS equipment is gonna be, this is gonna be like kind of for the next videos, but say that the equipment is able to deliver 3000 CFM, and then you're gonna be in coordination with the representative because he, he they provide you with all the information, and you're going to have to distribute this 3000 CFM through all the rooms, all the rooms, see? That's why this table is important. You're gonna have, and one of those rooms is the office. Office. You're gonna have in here um, maybe uh, bedrooms. See, bedrooms. You're gonna have a lobby, lobby, and then you having all these tables. Say you're gonna have in here 30 CFN requirement. You're gonna have in here uh, say 50. You're gonna have in here 100. 
blah, 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 and then they are going to all add up to 3000 CFM. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this, enjoyed this video and if you did, hit the like button and subscribe. Share this video and that helps a lot with the algorithm, okay? Thank you so much.